Welcome to the Picky Eater channel. I'm Tony and I am the Picky Eater. Gonna do a whole variety of things here on this channel. Some stuff that is uh, in the studio here, some stuff out on the streets. As a matter of fact, I took a road trip this weekend with a bunch of friends up to Williamsburg and stopped by this place called The Pottery and ended up picking a couple of really odd sodas, a peanut butter soda and a buffalo chicken wing soda, which neither one of them I'm thinking are gonna be any good, but we'll do a taste test on those. So I'm gonna be looking for some odd foods and things like that that we might try out here on the channel. If it's a snack, I probably will like it. You know, there's a lot of foods that I refuse to eat. I won't cook with them. I won't eat them uh, like onions. I don't like onions at all, but I like Funyuns. So I like the flavor of some things. I'm just not eating those things. So the other day when I made this beef soup, I figured, why not? Let's go ahead and film that. I'm gonna do some cooking segments here and I like to use the crock pot quite a bit. This way you can see how the picky eater gets around those things that he doesn't like and still has a flavorful life. I do all the cooking around here. Well, there's a couple of dishes that my wife Carrie likes to cook and you know, I like them. So we'll, you know, we'll let her do that that but she does all the cleaning so I try to be as neat as I can but that always fails. So this is just a quick crock pot beef soup that's completely picky eater approved at least for this picky eater. It's super simple to make and if you're not a picky eater well you can probably still use this recipe but go ahead and put your onions and peppers and stuff in there. Let's go ahead and check it out. So here's what I'm going to be using in my soup today. Of course we've got the stew meat. This is Angus beef stew meat. Got two pounds of that. And we've got this pasta here and our neighbor Patty, she is from up north actually, Pennsylvania, and was like, oh yeah, you guys gotta try this. And we love it, it's this little tiny pasta, Asini di Pepe, love that stuff. So basically I'm gonna make this stuff first and then we'll add that in uh, right, probably right before we eat actually. Going to be using a crock pot to do this and it's just so funny, my wife is like, please use the uh, Pam or you know, nonstick spray. So there's her little note. <laughs> I've got to leave that in there every time. God bless her. So just the basic, you know, cooking spray. And in order to ensure that I don't get it everywhere, I take a paper plate and I stick it around the edge and then I just kind of spray it like this. If you don't do this, man, crock pots are a pain in the butt to clean. Spin it around. That way we can just spray it like that. And, you know, of course, all the overspray gets on this. Okay, then I'm going to take one of these little ramekin or bowl or whatever you want to call it here. And I'm going to put some stuff in here. What I'm going to put in here is some pink sea salt. I'm going to put a little bit of Adolph's tenderizer in there. Some garlic powder. Yes, because I do like the flavors of this stuff, but I ain't going to eat a clove of that stuff. And I love cayenne pepper, so we're going to put some of that in there. Black pepper, man. This is a staple of my diet. I love black pepper, especially the coarse ground stuff. A little bit of Lowry season salt. Oh my gosh, yes, onion powder. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of onion powder. Too much of that and it's it's not no good. And then a sprinkle of paprika. So you know, we're just gonna twist some of that in there. And none of this is measured or anything like that. I just kind of eye it and say, yeah, that's gonna be good. A little garlic powder. Definitely some cayenne. And of course, you know, I might add some seasonings to it as I roll along during the day and check it out. Tiny bit of onion powder, just a tiny bit. That's gonna be way enough. And a lot of black pepper, I like the black pepper. And I know it seems like a lot of salt, but I'm gonna put a little bit of this Lowry seasoning salt in there. And a sprinkle of paprika. There we go, just mix that all up. Now sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually take the beef and I'll coat it with that stuff and coat it with a little bit of flour. If you hear my dog whining, I have a new puppy and he is he is a terror right now. Luke, chill out, man. So I'll coat this with the flour and that mixture. I'll put it in a little bit of oil in a pan and kind of brown it up, you know? But I'm not gonna do that this time because this is just a beef soup. Uh, that would be more like a stroganoff style type thing. Of course, you know, stroganoff I can't do because there's mushrooms. So we're gonna take this beef out of these, put it on a plate. Then we're gonna sprinkle some of this stuff in there. And then we'll mix it up. Luke, chill out, dude. But, you know, we just mix it up, make sure that the meat gets plenty of that stuff on there, and then we're just gonna drop it on inside the crock pot. Of course, all that stuff is gonna mix around inside the pot once we're cooking it, but you know, I just like to put it on the meat to start with. Same thing here, we're just gonna put the rest of it on there. Okay, all that meat in there. It's a lot of meat. 
Go wash my hands real quick here. So there we go. We have a crock pot full of meat. Gonna have some beef broth, and you don't need to have the expensive stuff. The store brand stuff is fine. I get the fat free. So we're gonna put two of those in there. Now sometimes I'll get one of those store-bought little packets to put in there for beef stew or whatever. I'm not gonna bother with that this time. I'll just season it myself. So I'm gonna use two boxes of this stuff, okay? You can see I make a big mess. My wife is always like, dude, seriously, how do you make such a mess with just such a small amount of cooking? That's gonna be perfect. Now, I have one can of this savory beef style gravy, and we're just gonna pour that whole thing in there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then I'm just gonna put a splash of Worcestershire in there. Okay, a couple of splashes. You don't wanna go too heavy on this stuff, man, because it, it's pretty strong. Then we'll mix it all up. Like I said, I'm going to open this a couple of times during the day and add a little bit more seasoning to it. We just taste the liquid part of it and see, you know, how, how it tastes. And that's how it's done, man. Pick eater style. You just got to make it simple and it's meat, pasta, and juice. How can you go wrong with that? I should also point out that what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on high for probably about a half an hour or so just to get it nice and hot. And then I'll turn it down to low. Okay, so wifey has to cook all the pasta in the house. I don't do that for whatever reason. I can't get that right. So we got the pasta cooking in there. Oh my goodness, yes. Let's pop this out of here real quick. Oh, whew. Steamed up a little bit there. Look at that. It is bubbling and hot and nice. Let's see here. We got just chunks and chunks of meat in there. Oh, it's going to be nice and tender and very tasty. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this pasta. We're going to just uh, put that in a bowl on the side and then we'll just add it to our soup as we serve it to ourselves. And then for leftovers, we'll just keep that in the fridge and heat it up tomorrow. Okay, so we got the pasta ready. See, it's just these little tiny macaronis. Love it. We'll just put some of these in the bowl. Like that. And then put the soup up on top of it. And we'll take this and we'll scoop it on top just like this. The meat looks really red in there, but it doesn't look that way when it's just the light in here. But put it on top. That's going to be good right there. Oh, yeah. So since there's only two people in my household, that is going to last for quite some time. At least two nights of dinner and probably lunch one day as well. I keep the pasta separate from the soup. Uh, I actually put more pasta in the bowl than I showed you in that video, but just put your pasta in there, pour the soup over the top of it, and it's fantastic. Is it simple to make? Oh, definitely. Uh, do I put things in there that raise questions like onion powder or garlic powder? Yeah, but you know what? Uh, I mean, I like spice in my life. In fact, I like things actually spicy, you know, like cayenne pepper and things like that. I just don't want to eat the peppers. So I don't lead a completely bland life, and I figured out ways to add the spice and the seasonings and the flavors that I like without having to actually eat them. <laughs> and, and luckily, my wife is good enough that she enjoys all my cooking, and if she doesn't, she doesn't tell me. She just eats it, but, you know, that's just how it works around here. I cook, she cleans. This way, I know absolutely what is in there, and I never have to question it. I'll be sharing some of my other favorites, and some of them are a little bit weird, I'll admit it, but I'm, I'm, I'm a weird food eater. That's just how it is, and I am the picky eater. That's going to do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time on the Picky Eater Channel.